Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we have something which I had kind of lost hope that Mega Constructs would ever make. I've been a collector of this franchise for over 11 years. Over that time, I have preached night and day that Mega Constructs needs to make a ring installation. Here it is, not in exactly the form that I ever thought it would be, but arguably even better. Today we will be asking the question, should you buy the Forerunner Ring installation? My immediate answer is probably. And really, it only depends on what kind of collector you are. So we're gonna break this down in as much detail as possible. Let's just take a closer look at the ring itself first. I mean, my goodness me. Mega Constructs, they have really outdone themselves time and time again with their creativity. And really, I think that is what the last year has been about, Mega Constructs being creative. Because it's no secret that they were kind of running out of ideas around the year like 2018 and 2019, because there really weren't many ideas around. Halo hadn't made a new game in years, Halo Wars 2 was their only inspiration, and there hadn't been a mainline Halo game in like five years. I get that they were running out, they were reusing, recycling most of their old sets, but now I think it is about them showing that they have the room to grow because I'm sure they have a lot of investment behind them now going into Halo Infinite. They have a lot more money to invest in new molds, new characters, to tell new stories. And this is something that if I was a designer at Mega Constructs, I would have been waiting years to get the phone call that I could make this. I mean, they are currently excelling at their micro build series. They've been making loads recently whether it be the Forward Unto Dawn, Covenant Cruisers, or the brand new Halo Infinite Blind Bag Pelican. And all of these work in perfect scale and slot in... <laughs> okay, well not that perfect. <laughs> I mean, look at that. That's fantastic. That is the start of Halo Combat Evolved. That's the start of really any Halo game. It's just a couple of ships in orbit above the ring. This video is part two. In part one, I snapped this build together, built it piece by piece, and you can check out that in my previously uploaded video. Now, any good building starts with good foundations. We have these four translucent blue bricks that are locked in with standard four by two bricks. And then on the top, they tile the whole thing out and it's quite clear that you can customize this tiling however you want. And they have three pieces that are the main foundations for the Sentinels and also the ring itself. Then a beautiful Halo Infinite logo right at the front of this build to really let you know that this is the ring straight out of Halo Infinite. It's pretty apparent that probably the entire campaign of Halo Infinite will take place on the installation. And what a beautiful installation it is. I mean, look at this thing. It is three separate pieces that all very basically clip together. There's no need for any more complexity there. And each of them feature a different biome, which is really what you'd want to see. I mean, Halo is all about the biomes. It is meant to support basically all the species in the universe. And here we've got the first one, this Forerunner sort of building. It reminds me of things from Valhalla or pretty much any Halo 3 Forerunner structure. And then we've got a clear lake or river, maybe an ocean running underneath it. And then this one is a rocky, mountainous and woodland terrain. And then the final one, another ocean ocean base plate, but this one with some kind of huge structure. Now there is a lot of debate in the Halo community as to what this structure is. Some may say that it's just a random one, but others may say that it's the auditorium from the Halo Infinite gameplay trailer. There is a similar structure that's in some promotional material for Halo Infinite. People have also pointed out online that you can continue this train either side and just lock more and more together. Obviously me being the nerd I am, plan to do that very soon. I've got two Halo Infinite rings and I think you need four. So it's gonna be a gradual thing. And I mean, this, it is fantastic. 
It's got these very Forerunner-esque glyphened like grids running across the bottom of it. Again, Mega Constructs is very good at smoothing off surfaces. Everything feels very streamlined, locks together very nicely with a tiny bit of flexibility. I also like how this translucent rod indicates some kind of light beam. The forest is perfectly done by these adorable little trees. I love them and they, they add to such customization. You can put them anywhere. And then obviously if you want to like raise the tree you can put them on slightly elevated platforms. The whole thing is very, very well put together. I have always been hoping that they would make a four and a ring very similar to this, but on a larger scale as a signature build. It always seemed very strange to me that the signature sets weren't ever a ring or a guardian. Both of them seemed perfect for it. But either way, this is fantastic. And with collecting, it is also about the enjoyment of other people as well. This is a really nice thing to display in our house. I kind of, you know, I like displaying my mega constructs everywhere, but if there's too much of it, I can kind of feel a bit sorry for my girlfriend. But this one, this is a nice display piece. It's very sort of signature-esque. It feels like a collectible build. Even the packaging, it's just very basic, very sort of metallic. This, I guess maybe, it might be a sentinel, but then why has it got a tree on the top? That kind of confused me when I was building it. It's anyone's guess as to what these are. When Halo Infinite comes out, everybody might have an, oh right, kind of moment where they realize some of these things are actually quite intentional. And you know, at the start of the video when I said, should you buy this? Again, it's kind of a question of what kind of collector you are. There isn't any playability with this set, of course. There there isn't much to do other than display it, and perhaps this is not for a younger audience. In saying that, if you're like me and you want to give your girlfriend a break, give something nice to display in the living room, then maybe this is the set for you. I am absolutely in love with this set. To be clear, like, I think this is basically flawless. They could have maybe included some other things aside from trees to give the sense of a biome, maybe an actual mountain top. If you are going to create this set, maybe market it more like a builder's box. You could still have the pro builder aspect, but if you included a wide variety of biomes and you showed on the side all the different ones, you know, you included a desert base plate, an ocean base plate, a snow base plate, a load of different snowy mountains, like you could include, for actually only maybe a hundred pieces more, the ability to customize your biomes, create loads of different ones. I mean, funnily enough, the two-in-one feature exists for almost all the new Mega Construct sets, but not this one. This is one of the only ones that absolutely needs a two-in-one feature because you should be able to build multiple different biome levels. So that's one criticism, but it's so mild because this is the first time they've made this. I wouldn't be surprised if Mega Constructs comes out with Four and a Ring Installation 2, and it's like a new one that you can collect. I wouldn't be surprised if they made an Arc Ring Installation. Like, there are a lot of possibilities, and I really hope that this one sells well and the feedback is very positive, so Mega Constructs wants to make things like this in the future. If you're anyone like me, this is the best set you could pick up this year for a signature beautiful centerpiece that can go on a mantelpiece and actually be admired by other people in the household. So this was another video with The Domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope I swayed your opinion on this set or I hope I gave you some advice. Either way, thank you very much. You stay awesome out there, you stay safe and the truth and reconciliation is signing off. We made a blind jump. How did they get here first? The Covenant ships have always been faster. As for tracking us all the way from Reach, at light speed my maneuvering options were limited. Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. <laughs>